Yes, sir. Pat with another episode. You're now tuned into the Hoodie and Headband Podcast Show. I'm your co-host, always Bryce Warner. Let's see it again. I'm your co-host, Tariq Miguel. Tariq, how are you, my boy? Doing good, man. Uh, you know, living life. My, my little brother, well, one of my little brothers, just had their first kid. Shout out to little Renee. Shout out to Xavier. Congratulations. I, to you, I feel bad that I can't remember his girlfriend's name right now. So shout out to her as well. Come on, man. I've only met her once. So. Okay. Well, congrats. Um, on it's fun being home. Where I can't, man. What? When I see that little motherfucker, I'm be like, yeah. Uh, we gonna get into some shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about my that nephew, little kid, bro. Like, when he get older, when my little nephew get older, bro, it's over. Me, him, and his pops running the streets. <laughs> Where are we gonna be? I'm here to my lady. Who we had ice cream? She's not supposed to have that. Man, anybody here? What the fuck you got to say? You gonna fight me for it? All right, then let's go get some ice cream. Hold on, on that now. Come on now. <laughs> let's go get some cake. Let's go Hold get some pie. on that now. Nah, that's gonna be beautiful. Sure. show. My parents' wishes, but we still gonna have fun. Nah, fuck that. Nah, I can't wait to start. Said, oh, she ain't allowed to have ice cream. I ain't hearing that. She ain't allowed to have sugar. Who says who? Unless doctors say, oh, she can't have no sugar. We going to get some fucking ice cream. I don't know. I don't care what y'all talking about. You get on me about being healthy. It's a kid. Let's go run that shit right off. We going to the park after. <laughs> Anyways, man. Congratulations <laughs> on uh, your little bro becoming a father. Congratulations to you becoming an uncle. Congratulations on a healthy birth. Facts. Or is his people. That's real. Yeah. Uh, my job had me doing fucking manual labor today. Man. Oh, you was doing me. If you know me, you know we'll I ain't with that shit. If you know me, you know I don't be with that shit. I'd be like, come on, bro. Bro, be like, chill. chill. The man. reason I work in childcare is so I ain't got to do manual labor. And motherfuckers be having me doing manual labor. Did you lifting things? Bro, bro, we had to lift like, I don't know, like a bunch of wood. Like long ass, like wood sticks. It wasn't terrible. Like I, I genuinely did not have a bad time. It's just like, this ain't what I was. This ain't what I was hired to do. It's not in the job description. At all. <laughs> I, I was not. It didn't say I had to be required to, to to lift forty pounds of material. I'd be having to carry boxes and shit. I'd be like, "Hey man," like, and I, it's only it's like three or four dudes problem. that work there, so it's like I'd be the only one there nine times out of ten. So they'd be like, "Oh, Tariki. Oh, can you take this box to this room?" And if I say, "Nah, I ain't shit." <laughs> yup. Yup. Yep. Let's see. It's all good though. I've been I've been I lifted like last week. I don't like lifting. I really don't. Cause I I lifted and then I went to the gym and I felt like I had fucking spaghetti arms. I hate that shit, bro. I really hate that shit. But then the next day oh, you gotta lift. I was cooking. So. Nah, because then you come in the next day and you strong as shit. No. You Giannis. No. Yeah. No. You Giannis with it. You shoot right after so you can get the motion back with the same. Like, after you build up the muscle. All right, leave in the comments. Leave in the comments. Shooting. Do you shoot first or do you lift first? Me, I shoot first. That way, I can lift. And when I'm done playing ball, I lift. And it's cool. Come back the next day. Body's reset. I'm shooting like regular again, right? I shoot, I shoot lift after I lift. lift. It's gonna be a lot of air balls, gonna be a lot of clanks. It's gonna it look bad out there. Gonna look like nah, I'm not even gonna go there. That'd been bad. I ain't gonna go there. I'm not I'm not even gonna stand on your team. Hold on, tree froze. Where did I freeze? Oh my gosh. Are you good now? Is it good? Is it good now? Yeah. All right. I was going to say, as I was trying to say, doggone, if I lift, then shoot, I'm going to be shooting air balls. It's going to be bad. Going to look bad out there, you know? So I tried not. I mean, I did it the other day. Like, one of the last times I went to the gym, I did it. And it wasn't too bad. I was able to, like, get through, like, the, the soreness, you know, after, like, lifting and stuff. Like, get through that. 
I made a couple shots, but same time, it's like, uh, maybe I should lift and shoot. That way, when my arms get tired, I can still shoot. I think that's what I'm going through right now. It's like, after a long day of playing hoops, my shot is just broke at the end of the day because I'm tired. So now I got to try to get to the cup, get layups. See, I shoot, then I lift, then I shoot again. Oh, you that's be having time to be in the gym. I mean, depending on, like, the way my schedule is set up, like, I can leave, I can leave the office at, like, 11, and I ain't got to be back until 3. So I have, okay. like, from 11 to 1. And if it's an empty gym, if it's an empty gym, I got more than enough time. Like, the last – the last couple of times I went, I've shot, like, oh, how many shots do I make in two hours? Still, like, type shit. Because I've had an empty gym. If I don't have an empty oh. gym, then I just shoot. But, yeah, I'd be, like, once I get, like, once it, I hit, like, an hour, hour and a half of shooting, my shot just be, like, I just be shooting anything. And the shit do be going in, like, like, with Clay, like, shoot that shit right off his fingertips. Or if I shoot all arms, no legs, like, that's how my shit be looking. And that's why I be looking sometimes just so I can get like a a little bit of a lift back. But I, I don't know. I'm not big in the lift. I'd rather just hoop. Because I mean, you play basketball, you will get everything you need if you really if you really hoop it. Yeah. I mean, you're not getting like you're no, not so getting like full on straight. like you're not getting a full on like arm like. Yeah. You're not getting big, but your arms is doing motion, and you get exercise in your arms. Yeah. You're, you're lifting off your legs. Your calves are getting right. Your hamstring, quads, all that. Yeah. Like, and it's cardio. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, but same time, you kind of still don't work on your body. Not so, sure. like, You got that little bit of strength there, you know. Somebody try to post you all. You're like, uh, uh-uh. uh, brick wall. Nah, that's the crazy part. I I have like such natural strength. Like, like, people be trying to, like, look up. People be trying to post me up, and I'd be like. What's wrong with you, boy? People really be trying to post me up, and I'd be like, I might be short, but I'm strong as fuck. You're not about to just. Nah. And I'd be posting people up. I'm like, you know the people that they be laughing at, like, on TikTok and shit? They be like, motherfucker, five, eight, five, nine, posting up and shit. I damn sure be hitting motherfuckers with a dirt fadeaway, and that shit be cash. Niggas can't even take shit. Okay. That's one of my go-to work. Like, when I'm working on jumpers, that's one of my go-to is just. Off the left foot, fade away, cash. Like everywhere on the court. Don't even matter. Like three point line inside the arc. Like everywhere. Got to. Because you never know when muscles gonna try to pull up and you can be like, ah, got him, one foot. Um, but yeah. How about you, my boy? I'm good, man. Can't complain about much. Just been working, working on a lot of things, doing a lot of things. Um yeah, just, you know, trying to figure out a lot, too. Trying to lock in, really. There's a lot going on between W and MEA right now. You know, um, I'm still making videos. Just trying to, you know, just go to platform, just do whatever it is to do to succeed. That is where I'm at in life right now. Yeah. But, yeah, before we get into it, shout out to y'all for tuning in. Shout out to Most Pussy Media for this platform that we have. Shout out to the Miami Heat to tie in the finals one to one. Anyways, shout out to y'all for tuning in. Y'all y'all show it out on, on the, the finals preview. So did. But I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and, 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 and scroll up a little bit to that W... Uh, episode from past week too, man. Come I, said, on. I know y'all saw it. I know y'all saw yeah. it. I know, I know, I know y'all, y'all saw it. Notifications on. I know y'all subscribed sure. to the show. We at what? I know y'all saw it. I'm going to say, no way we got 260 and we got what? 290? No, no, that's 296 videos. I thought we was at 296. I was like, oh, no, we had 260. 260, wow. 260 subscribers. I know at least 50 of y'all seen the, 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 the video. Not the video. I seen the video. But only oh, two of y'all clicked the video. I ain't going to say how many of y'all, but only a few of y'all clicked the video. <laughs> and me, those numbers go up. Because this W season, it's one of the ones I said it was going to be. It'll be right? different. One of the ones that we said it was going to be. We're getting to that later this week. But as Tariq mentioned, NBA Finals are tied one, one apiece. Denver Nuggets took care of game one at home, as they should, as I thought they would. And you got the Miami Heat 
came back and won game two last night. Well, Sunday night. And that was a tie season. Serious. Even serious going back to Miami. Tariq, what are your thoughts? How are you feeling with the with the series being tied? Going back to Miami for two games. Really great. Really great. Who that? Oh, Michael Irvin? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it was Michael Irvin. I got the two mixed up. I just guessed. I was thinking, I was thinking Bart Scott. He said, can't wait. Yeah, can't really wait. Great. I know that one. I know that. I'm a Jets fan. I know that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling great, really great. I'm pretty sure I was Michael Irvin in Long Show. Um, Michael Irvin is so funny, bro. He's, he's, a, he's a comedian. He's a comedian for real. I'm just being yelling. <laughs> no, you saw what you saw what uh, uh Cameron and May said. No, nah. it was like Shannon Sharp, man. What we gotta do to get you on, man? Because you know Shannon Sharp leaving on this video. What you gotta do to get you on? You're like, bro, we get you on. Hey, because I know we get Shannon. my. No, all we need is a quarter key. I said, yo, hey, oh. hey, Shannon, the door is open, bro. Like Stephen A said, if you need, if you need to, you know, come join the podcast for a little bit. We here. You know, we we got we got space for Unc. I'm an uncle now. Got space for Unc. Come on now. You got we got space for Unc. Yeah. We we, <laughs> we got. We space all for- gonna be we all gonna be hit dog all that like a mile everything. Come on now. We here. We we right here. Come on, come you on, Stan. Come on, Unc. Activity, sir. Come on, Unc. Excuse me. So when you start partaking in that activity, tell us what we got. When we get when we get Shannon Sharp on the fucking show, that's it. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can have that. Hey, if we get him on the show, I'm, I ain't gonna say I'm doing whatever, but the black and miles and the henny is gonna be gonna be right here. I'm having a little table. It's gonna be sitting right here with me. So, Lordy, wax? Who said I was gonna smoke him? I was about to say, it, man. come on now. Now, oh, oh, you, you say we gonna have a I'm about to say, not you say you partaking in that activity. I didn't say partake. I said we're gonna have them. Yeah, them. Have them. So we yeah like have I them said they're gonna be on the fucking tape. Okay. I okay. didn't say like like you said we gonna have them. I was thinking like we you, must, you crazy as hell. You must not know me. About to say, boy. Anyway, it's only it's only like three people I'm gonna smoke for, and it ain't none of them niggas. <laughs> We are getting to this, man. So, Miami tied it up last game. But let's get into game one. Game one, Denver really dominated game one. They had a, what, 20-point lead at one time. I don't know. I, I, I know a lot of y'all that said this would be a boring series. It's like, ha-ha, yeah, told you guys to be a boring series. Is that and that. After seeing them being up by 20. But then again, no. Kyle Lowry was like, nah. We're going to go on this run real quick. Put us back into this game a little bit. You know, like that's. Hey, we're I'm, glad, that's that, listen, I'm glad they didn't. I'm trying to find. You know, I'm on ESPN. There we go. So yeah, they lost 93 104. Well, I don't know why I said they lost. Nuggets won 104 93. Right after being up by 20, you know, Miami won to run in the fourth quarter. Probably with down in the single digits. Yeah. So it's like at one point in time we was like, oh, is Miami gonna make a run? Is they are they, are they is the is the run gonna be enough? But Jokic and the boy just put it further out of reach. So but yeah, good game by the Nuggets on all all fronts. Uh, Aaron Gordon got to a crazy hot start to start the game off. I mean, it's like he was everywhere, bro. Um, you know, put not putting backs, but like you know, second chance shots, cuts to the lane. Uh, oh, you know. Well, because he had what? He had like gave Vincent guard him, right? He kept getting switches. Yeah. That shoes got Vincent. They, they, had, they had no, no they had no answer for it. Like you got Jimmy guarding who? Jimmy was guarding who? Jamal. Did he Jamal Murray? I don't know if he was guarding game one, but he I can't remember off the top of my head. I think he was guarding dog on a Aaron. lot of Aaron. You know, a lot Bam's of Aaron gonna Gordon. On, Bam's gonna be on Yokeshaw game. A lot of Aaron Gordon getting, um, you know, getting going in the paint was switches, like with Struess and, and Gay, and then the the big size mismatch with him and Caleb. Like, 
Caleb play in the four, but he's not he's not as big as Aaron Gordon. Like no. Aaron Gordon was punishing him down low. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Miami shot poor in this game too. Like their shooters are just off. Um, yeah, we were, we were. went 0 for 9 from 3. Couldn't throw it in. Like, best player in the world. Just stop playing like the best player in the world. That's, I mean, talking about Caleb Martin. I was about to say, huh? Caleb yeah. Martin. Yeah. Best you, player in the league. Telling but... people in, in Wild Wings, best player in the world. <laughs> They're mad as hell, boy. <laughs> but yeah, Jokic had a triple double in this game. Um, then we had five players reach double figures in this game as well. This was just a good game all around for Denver. Um, complete game. It just wasn't much that you could have that the Heat could have done. They just shot poorly. I mean, maybe if they shot better, maybe if Strews goes four for nine, they're in this game. Maybe if Duncan uh, if he goes, I mean, if he goes four for nine, we win the game. About to say, yeah, that's the point. That's right there. That's yeah, that's, that's twelve points. Point. And y'all lost by <laughs> eleven. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy only had thirteen in this game. It was a bad game for the Heat. It was a bad game, but but you know they didn't give up, and I'm glad they didn't just give up and get blown out in game one. That just would have been bad. That team showed a fight. And, and that's the reason why, you know, I believe in them in this series. They show fight all the time. It, this team does not give up. This team does not lay down. It doesn't matter who you are. This team is going to give you their all, all 48 minutes. Let them know. Yeah. Let them so, know. That's what we saw in game two. Game two, we saw a team that really wanted to win this game. Really was like, yeah, all right, we're not going home down to to love, you know? Not going to happen. We're going to win this series. We got to win one on their home court. We got to win one here in Denver. And you could tell from the jump, like, everybody's like, oh, what about the altitude? What about young stuff? They ain't care about none of that, bro. Yeah, Did you say last episode about what well, Eric supposed to answer? said, yo, we can play this, play this on Mount Everest, bro. It don't matter. Guys are ready. He really, showed, he really showed it there already. Game two. Um, Gabe Vince had a good game. Bro went crazy first half. Yeah, so what? Jimmy had 21. Bam had 21. Gabe Vincent had 23. Uh, Kevin Love was in the starting lineup. That's the one major adjustment they made. And as you see, it helped. Um, Strews, 14. Duncan Robinson, bro. He came through with some big shots late. Miami runs on. Miami runs on. Duncan. So over the spread. Duncan. Stop Duncan. playing with Duncan Robinson, man. I was gonna call you corny for that, but at the same time, I I, I liked it. How's that corny? America runs on nothing. Miami runs on nothing. Nah, you know who didn't say something corny? Hold on, let me find this quote. Cause L, you know how L Duncan was like kind of corny oh with the my God. during March Madness. Oh my gosh. He said so... something the other day. Oh, my boy sent it to me. Let me see if I can find it. She said it the other day, and I was like, ooh. Oh, you can go ahead. I don't need it. I don't, I don't mean for there to be silence. I want to, uh, I want to touch back on game one real quick. Yeah, you go. Ahead. Um, uh, shout out to Bam, first of all. Bam, Bam was going crazy. Bam was making Jokic work. Uh, and he tried to do that for the entirety of the series. He's not going to be able to, you can't allow Jokic to just play one side of the ball. So, Bam stays aggressive. He's going to get his shots. He's going to get his good looks. And he's been knocking it down. Um, he's been playing well as a facilitator as well. Um, we only shot two free throws. Uh, like you said earlier, 
Bruce and Caleb Martin went to one of 17. Yeah, one of 17 as a combined duo. Uh, again, and yeah, after game one, I was saying that that wouldn't happen again. And it didn't. Um, Hayward High School had 18. Gabe had 19. Uh, but it was also like it's the first game of the finals. Uh, they had like what ten days rest, something like that. Like they had, oh, yeah. they had a That's long layoff. Thing to mention too was the time they had off compared to yeah. they played seven games. And I've been playing a lot of games in these playoffs. They played what five, five, and five, five, five six, and seven. Six, seven, yeah, five, six, and seven, and. What was Denver's route to the playoffs? I mean, to the finals days? Five, 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 six, and four. Okay. So, yeah, they so, had that rest. Three, three less games. Yeah. Uh, and, again, like, that's that's on Miami for having to play those three games. Like, you should have should have took care of business for you, or four X games. Cause, all right. No, nah, three X games because you had to play game four regardless. But, yeah, you had to win one. Uh, played three to win one. Well played – yeah, I played three to one one. Yeah. Um and I think, you know, it's just we yeah, weren't making shots. Four to one one. Play four to one one. Yeah. If awesome. you're not making shots, if you're not making shots, you're not beating. Uh good. It's just not gonna happen. The not switches really happen. killed us. The switches really killed us because not just because Aaron Gordon was getting easy buckets, it's because it gave him confidence. And not to say that he's not normally confident, but he's coming out of a series where the Lakers were trying to make him non-existent, like trying to oh, make it like they were like trying to force him either to have to shoot the ball or for him to have to come out of the game. Yep. And Mike Malone never was like, "Oh, we got to pull him, like we got to bring him out the game." He never did that. So game one comes around, he shot. He's probably like, "All right, I got to figure out what I what my role is in this series." And he realized, oh, shit, they started Caleb Martin. He's like, I got, what, 30, 40 pounds on him? Fucking, if I got Struess, I got four inches in. Uh, damn, 30, 40 pounds. Same for Dave Vincent. Like, he's got an easier – or he's got easy matchups if he can get the switch. And they are able to get the switch because so much attention was being paid to Jokic and Jamal Murray. So when you pay attention to them, then that opens up the door for Aaron Gordon to get layups, Michael Porter Jr. to get open shots. Um, so I think for as bad as we – like, as as bad as we shot, I was confident in the next game because I knew players were going to step up, players were going to make shots eventually. Uh, and I don't think the defense was terrible. We just didn't score enough points. And against the Denver team, you got to score enough. And I think – I don't know if I said this on the podcast or if I said it in writing or if I just thought it in my head. But I, I don't remember who I told. But you have to, like, you have to at least get into the fourth quarter. You have to at least get into the fourth quarter and have it be a close game because that's when Miami's at their best. And Denver's also been at their best. But Miami has had the most clutch games. I think I wrote it. I think I, I put it in the article. They've had the most clutch time wins in the NBA this season. Including yeah, the post wasn't Jimmy Butler finalist for the Clutch Award? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I just know De'Aaron won that shit. Um, so I think, and then that that turns into Game Two. So Game Two, which start out good, they go on a run because Christian Brown, Bruce Brown, and Jeff Green turned into the three best defensive players we've ever seen. Chris, Christian Brown had three steals on one fucking possession. Like, I'm like, can y'all just stop passing it to fucking Duncan? Because he's jumping in front of every fucking pass. And then they did it. The next possession, it led to a dunk. And then the next possession, it led to a three in the corner. And it, at a certain point, they just wasn't missing this. Like, like if they're going to make these shots all night, wrap it up. But there's also, all right, y'all keep talking about the heat. Uh shot retention or shot like three point shot uh what's the word fuck efficiency oh, okay. I can't. no like uh like fall back like regression that's the word regression, regression. Okay. Yeah, yeah yeah three point shot regression so for denver the shot regression was like so normally when you see a team get hot 
in the first like quarter, they start to cool off. If it stays the whole game, then you ain't got no chance. But once they cool off, you got like a three, four, five minute span to catch back up and put yourself back in the game because they're not getting buckets at all. And that's kind of what happened like towards the end of the second and into the third quarter with um, you know, us cutting. I think we were down six at half. And I saw somebody say that they thought it was bad that we were down at six and a half because they thought we had played better to that point. I think we played better basketball than we played in game one. But the nine-minute spurt where the Nuggets went 32 to 11 over us, Mm -hmm. that's terrible. That can't happen in the NBA Finals. Zeller has to do with that. You can't play Cody Zeller, bro. I don't care. Fans will have to play 48 minutes, something. You got to find a – like. You can't stop. You can't keep putting Cody Zeller in there, bro. Every time he goes in there, we end up going back down. Like, say, say we down three. When Zeller get in the game, we down nine. Like, he only played two minutes. They put him in the game with like a minute fourteen in the second quarter yesterday, and I think he made like he made he had turnover. <laughs> Sorry, he had a turnover. Or he missed the layup, turned the ball over, and then uh, fouled Jokic, and he got two free throws. And he fouled him, like, before he got across half court. So, and then the next play, he brought, Jokic goes coast to coast and lays that shit up on him. And I'm like, get him out the game, bro. Like, why is he out there? Like, I just, oh, um, my goodness. People have been saying he got to have something on Spoh for Spoh to keep playing. It's I something. I don't know what it is. Final moments in 2023? Cody Zeller, he he made two. A Zeller was, brother was, is getting finals minutes in 2023. <laughs> he made two tough layups yesterday. I'll give him that. There were two layups that we needed. He made them both. Um, but man, like, and I know people are going to look at it like, oh, he had 41. Bam has played Jokic really well. Yeah, like he's forced Jokic into tough shots, and Jokic just be making them home. Like. Every time Jokic take a shot, I'm like, oh, that's tough. Cash. Okay, maybe it wasn't. I don't fucking know. Maybe this dude's just different. I don't I don't know. Like, I'm like, all right, make him make him shoot that three. Contest. Oh, that's a tough. All right, never mind. I apologize. Uh fadeaway midi with a hand in his face. Hey, that's tough. Like the the craziest shot of the game for me yesterday and was like I get annoyed when other teams go on runs, but not because of like players making shots, it's because we're doing shit that we shouldn't be doing, or other players are doing shit they never fucking do. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you remember this, but before the run started, Christian Brown hit a fucking fadeaway one-legged shot over Bam. Now, Bam tipped it away and went back to Christian Brown. He picked it up with like a second left. Fadeaway off the left foot. Bam here. Tip the ball, cash. I was like, ah, okay. I don't know about that one. That's crazy. And then, of course, the run happens. So I'm like, oh, well, if Christian Brown's hitting shots like that, I don't know what the fuck you want us to do. Jeff Green hitting threes. Jamal Murray's hitting threes in the corner with a crazy contest. Michael Porter Jr.'s hitting threes. Like, I'm oh, like, my fucking Bruce Brown hit threes. I'm like, bro, come on, man. I'm like, hey, we got to live with that. Gosh, man. Hitting shots. But those same shots in the second half didn't fall. Bruce Brown shot a three, break. We living with it. Michael Porter Jr. was shooting, didn't go in. We living. I would say we living with Michael Porter Jr. shooting, but he gonna shoot that hole regardless, even if it's a bad shot. So we living with the bad shots for sure. We we for sure living with the bad shots. Um, we were able to keep it close, and then we get to the fourth quarter. And that's when everything really went our way. Like, yeah, I mean, Duncan went on a two-minute spurt of just fucking crazy. Like, three, lay up, three, lay up. Talking his shit, me mugging. Gabe, Gabe hit the three to give us the lead. He looked at, bro, like, no way you really thought she was about to get there. Like, like crazy. So, I, I, I and one dunk. That was first half. Oh my god! That was, that was second half. That was, that was, that was the second half. 
Oh, second half. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, second half. Yeah, like crazy. Yeah. That was during. That was during the fourth quarter run. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, because I I was going crazy for a quarter because we was we was going crazy, like, yeah, we was going crazy. Fucking bam, contact dunking on motherfuckers. I said bam, I need three of those a game. Stop yeah. Playing. Like catch the ball on a roll and fucking leak, bro. Stop yeah. going up for these floaters. Stop going up for these fucking finger rolls. All right, let's who you is, bro. Bam on them ass. Bam on their ass. That's what the fuck they call you bad bam for. Bro, Don't call so them. Bam, bam on their ass. Don't call them. Fucking, uh, what's the, uh, the Flintstones? Fucking bam bam, 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 bam or whatever. Bam. Yeah, that's why they call that nigga bam bam. Don't call them. Stop fucking floating. Fade away. Lay it. Dunk on their head every time. If they gonna get in the way, dunk on them. Don't let them get in your way and you be like, ah, let me just, nah. Fuck that. Dunk on the fucking head every time. I don't want to, I don't want to see it. But I will say Bam has been like incredible yeah. in this series so far. Like through two games, he has been incredible. I can't say nothing bad about him. I normally don't say nothing bad about him. Besides, you know, dunk the ball. But hey, 21, 9 and 4, two blocks. I take that every day to get every day of the week. A plus 17. I know people don't really like plus minus, but when it comes when it comes to these close ass games, they they matter. Gabe Vince was a plus twenty two. Um but Kyle, like fuck Cody Zeller, a minus fourteen. What what oh god. But the boy is a minus fourteen and he only played let me see how many minutes he played. Oh man. This shit he played seven he played he played eight minutes and was a minus fourteen. That shouldn't even be possible. That shouldn't even be possible. Hayward Heisman played six minutes. A minus eighteen. Kyle Lowry, even he played like twenty minutes, I think. Minus fifteen. Now I don't think he necessarily played bad. Now Cody Zeller, he for sure played terrible. Um, but like, and again, I I don't think plus minus is the end all be all. But Cody Zeller, just you, you can't put him out there, bro. You can't. Like you got to figure something out. I'm talking to Khalil yesterday. This man talking about, oh, what about Jovic? Now, come on, bro. What? what? Fucking six nine. I I fuck I fuck with Yo Jovic. He gonna be nice. Oh, Jovic. Me, next year, Nicole, next Jovic. year, next year he might be the starting four for for real. But this is not the time to throw in Nicole Jovic. I I wouldn't even say yours. I don't know. I would throw. I would I would be. I would I would rather them throw Udonis out there. That's what I just said. That's what I said. I, you, I said put Udonis oh, in no, there. Use it put him in there for five minutes, use up the two, three, four fouls, and then I bam, said, come right back. Like, in like, like, come on, bro. Like, ah oh, man. But hey. Jokic? Man. That's the part. So I found the L Duncan I found the L Duncan. She said so she's talking about both Jamal Murray, like the duo Jamal Murray and Nicole Jokic. And she said, and I quote, this sort of feels like the egg, like asking the egg, do you want to get fried or scrambled? Either way, you're going to get cooked. I was like, yeah, that's kind of tough. It's bars. It's not tough. It's bars. I think, I think, uh, Oh, also then I didn't mention the the adjustment for Spo for Kevin Love. Um, it really, it really messed up the rhythm. I feel like it messed up the rhythm of Denver. Uh, you know, to start the game because you know their access were able to get easier shots. Uh, to start the game, and I think we started out like twelve to four or something like that. Um, because Strews to hit what three threes in the first couple of minutes. Um. I mean, Marco Porter Jr. ended up with five points. Uh, Aaron Gordon only had 12. KCP had six. Uh, Jeffrey had nine. Christian Brown had six. So, last, the first game, five people scored in double figures. This one, only four. Um, Jamal Lee had 18. I think he had 26 in the first game. Um, and I like the way, I, I like that they put Jamal, or they put Jimmy on Jamal. And Kevin Love being in the paint allowed for 
everyone to play the first two minutes supposed to be on. And I think in the second half, the zone, especially in the fourth quarter, um, the 2 2 1 press and the 2 3 um, really messed with Denver. And I think a lot of people were thinking that the zone wouldn't bother Denver at all. I think, you, like I said, you can't throw a regular fucking 2 3 zone. You got to find a different way to muck it up and make him just confused for a few minutes. That happened. We went on a run and then they couldn't, they couldn't come back from the run that we had. So, uh, I do want to give credit to Jokic because, man, that boy had 41 uh, – that man had 41 and 11 last night on four, with only four assists, which is a big thing that a lot of people were talking about before this or before this game was do you make Jokic a score or do you make him a passer? And while I do think you need to choose one, I don't necessarily think you can, he, he'll allow you to just force him to be a scorer or to force him to be a passer like – He's going to be aggressive and assertive when he needs to be, and that's what makes him so great is him being able to pick and choose his spots um, and when he feels like he has enough space and enough time to get to his his particular space and shots that he wants. Um, but, man, and Bam made him work. Like, yeah, he, he was getting he, – he probably had, like, I don't know, 15 to 20 on Zelda on Zeller alone, but Bam made him work for, for his buckets. Like, he wasn't just, he wasn't just going, like, one-on-one and just straight cook session. Like, that just wasn't, it wasn't happening. I think a lot of people thought that Bam was going to get cooked this series. And yeah, you can look at the stats and say, yeah, he for sure got cooked, but, like, you got to really look at the game and be like, when, when he really needed to get a stop, Bam got a stop. Like, uh, I think I think this series is going to come down to a, a most of the different things, but um, I think us being tied 1 1 going back to Miami, that's a really good time. Um, oh, for sure. That was the best position that you guys are in. I mean, you guys could have been 2 0. I mean, I don't want to say you could have been 2 0, but realistically, the best outcome you guys wanted was to be 1 1 going back to Miami. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like Miami takes game three, and I feel like. Denver takes game four for some reason. I feel like we'll be back in this position again, tied up by next week. I would much rather go up 3 1. Of course you would. I know. <laughs> give us a cushion. Yeah. I'm not trying to go I'm not trying to go back to Denver 2 2. I'm just not. I'm not. Yeah. So all right. So what would the Heat have to do? Would they have to have a game like last night where they let's see. I saw some breakdown of how they defended last night compared to how they defended on Thursday night, right? So they really played man more this last game instead of, like, you know, coming in and, like, pressure on Jokic because that left other guys open. That's why Jokic mm-hmm. had, like, what, 14 assists game one or mm-hmm. some crazy like that. He only had four assists in game two. Four! Mm-hmm. That was the only time... I that's the only time I took his assist and he didn't get over his assist. I said, Man, I ain't too mad though, because I still got Miami to win the series. I'm glad they won last night. But yeah, they really took they made Jokic and another thing, Jokic is 0 3 when he gets 40 in the playoffs. 0 3. So they really made Jokic score more. And it's like, yeah, we will let Jokic get 40, whatever. As long as not everybody else getting 15, 10, 10 to 15, maybe even 20. As long as we got multiple guys getting 15 plus, be good. So, and that's what they did. They hit their shots. They shut down other guys. And really that run in the, what was it, fourth quarter? Was it the third quarter or fourth quarter when they got the lead? Because they were Four. down the game again. I mean, it was it was it was back and forth for a little bit. Yeah. Third quarter, third quarter was kind of back and forth, uh, and then they took they took another they went on another run, and then the fourth quarter we went on off. Yeah, and this game went down down to the last shot. Yeah, I thought that was Jimmy a good up. Mary, he just missed it. No, I feel like Jimmy Jimmy defended that really well. Yeah. I feel like poking the ball away. Poking the ball away. 
him poking the ball away really threw off the rhythm. I think once Jimmy poked the ball away and Jamal got it back, they should have called the timeout. Yeah. Because at that point, Jamal didn't have a rhythm. Oh, like, what was it? Jimmy hit the shot, right? If I remember correctly, Jimmy hit the shot, and then they came back down court, and they were No, like, we didn't make a shot. Oh, they didn't make were a shot. Three Jimmy hit the shot. The last possession they had, yeah. he hit he, he, the mid-range shot. And that was a damn mm-hmm. good shot, too. I was like, oh. Like, when Jimmy hit that shot, I felt like that was the one for them. I was like, yeah, they got it. And so, yeah. Jimmy hit the shot. Then they come down. Did they score? They bring it in within three, or? Uh, I can't remember what's off my head, but I, can't remember either. I know I know the possession the possession that I'm not uh, LeBron with this, but yeah. The the possession that we had or the possession that Jamal Murray had, it came off the miss. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Cause they they didn't they didn't call a timeout because it was a miss, so they didn't want the defense to set up. Yeah. But I think once Jamal I think Jamal mm-hmm. knocked or Jimmy Jimmy knocked it away with like five seconds left, um, and I think once he knocked it away, that that threw off the rhythm of Jamal. Whatever he was going to try to do with it, um, and maybe him and Jam- or him and Jokic were going to do some type, some type two man game. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look at the play again. But I think once it got knocked away, he got the ball back. Um, Mike Malone should have called a timeout because he was already. I mean, they were already in front half court. Um, yeah. they would have got it. They would have got it advanced anyway. So, I think at that uh, point, maybe he should have called a timeout, but maybe it wasn't. Drop really a play, really tie the game play. up, play overtime. Yep. I don't know. Part of me wanted overtime, but part of me is just like, no, it's getting late. I get to bed. Yeah, we, we all scored Denver 17-5 to 5 in the first three minutes of fourth quarter. Um, we took the lead, went up by 12 eventually. And then Denver fought their way back and you know, then it came out to the last shot. Yeah. All right. So do you see the question Ramona Shelburne asked Spo that whole clip? I did. What do you feel about the question? Like what just what are your opinions on that? Like how do you how did you think, you I don't think it was a bad question? Or Spo's response to the question. I mean he Ramona didn't even get to finish the question. Spo was just like you just don't do that. Like, that's the best player in the world. You just don't. No, it's no one way to guard this guy. This guy is amazing. Uh, I see what he's getting at. Yeah. I see. I think I think he was just trying to, like, not give away any game plan. Yeah. He probably is not a big fan. I mean, I'm sure he knows who Ramona Shelburne is. Obviously. He's like, you ain't want to be here. You want to be covering the Lakers, like blah, blah, blah. So his head, he like, I'm not doing. I ain't got shit to do with what the fuck you talking about. Yeah, like I'm not trying to hear that. Um, I think it was more. I would say it was more personal, but mm-hmm. I think if like if one of the Heat guys, Heat one of the Heat, like writers, asked him a question or asked him that question, I don't think he would have flew back the way he did. But I think he also wasn't. He didn't want to give up. A game plan, like no, oh, because a lot of times the whole thing it was uh the it was a whole TikTok, like somebody broke down. Remember how they won what uh, each of the finals and Bam was like, <laughs> Bam was like, yeah, Spoel has watched this fifteen minute video before the game, and they zoomed in on Spoel. Spoel was like, yeah, and it's like, what was the what was the video? He was like, oh, the video doesn't matter, man. And it's like a theory that like there wasn't a video at all. Ben was just messing with him, or it's a theory that like mm-hmm. oh showed him something crazy. Yeah, that's what surprises. Those 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 wild dudes. Yeah, man, we got game three. Game three on what Wednesday? Yeah. Game three Wednesday. Game three Wednesday, game four Friday. Ooh. Game four goody. Friday. Huh? I said, ooh, goody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming Sunday would be game five, but they might push the Monday. No, game five would be Monday. They get two, uh, two days off going back to Denver. All these extended days off and stuff, man. 
Yeah. Um, to me like once upon a time, the finals just played in a week. Which is crazy. Like, damn. Y'all didn't want no bro, ain't no, ain't no travel days and stuff, man. Them boys showed up and played. <laughs> Which is fucking great. And Chucks. Chucks. And Converse. Converse weapons. Spalding basketball shoes. Crazy as hell. In the 2Ks. Nah, let me stop. They the love the league memes back like there. Them would have been the shoes. Oh, uh, the Walmart and ones. The Shaq shoes. Starburst. Uh, no, nah, what was Richard Jefferson's shoe? The protégés that was in Kmart. Richard Jefferson had a shoe. <laughs> it was the most random thing ever. I was like, yo, I like, growing up. I was like, okay, yeah, Richard Jefferson got a shoe. It was like the most. Oh. Richard Jefferson had a shoe. Richard Jefferson had a shoe in Kmart. Yeah. No, no. You never, way. you never saw Stephen Jackson talk about Richard Jefferson's shoe. Cause see, Stephen Jackson was like, "Yo, yeah, I gotta support my guy, or whatever." You know, this, that, and that, and about how Stephen Jackson like blew through like four pairs in the game. Basically, like the Lonzo Ball story about the zo twos was the same thing for the protégés. Like I always saw him whenever I was in Kmart. Never bought a pair. No way, Richard Jackson. Had you know what I did have a pair of though? <laughs> Starberries. Oh, everybody had a pair of those. Boy, you used boy. Fucking, uh, what was the store? Dave and Barry? Or... Steve and Barry. Steve and Barry, yeah. Yeah. Bro, they had the Starberries and they had the wrestling tees back then. And it was just... Yeah, they were just talking about his Nike. I seen a pair of those. I should have. They talking about Nikes. And I saw yeah. a pair of those randomly in the thrift one day. I should have just grabbed them for, for giggles. But the Starberry, Marbury Starberries, dog. Those were his shoes. He was like, yeah, I'm giving back to the hood, giving back to my community. Shoe going to be $20. I think I had the Knicks color, and then I had like a red and black color, too. I don't know how we got to talk about shoes. But, yes, game three, game four, in Miami, Dade County, 305, Mr. Worldwide. Let me stop. Um, slip got two games in Miami Wednesday, Friday. I think it's gonna be 2 2 by the end of this Miami trip. Reek wants it to be 3 1, obviously. 3 1 puts them I in a favorable one. position. We can, win it. we can win on the we can win at the Caribbean game six. I would like that's that. A, I would like that. That's the that's the uh. But see, I don't know. It's hard because it's hard for me to think that Miami can win two in a row like that. But it's going to have to take them winning two in a row. Either they win two in a row at home or they win one at home and one on the road and then win again at home. Because I don't think they're going to get three in a row on, on the Nuggets. That would be crazy. It's the Nuggets. I'm not trying everybody, to... Everybody been saying Nuggets in five, turn around, we get them in five. Then, but then it wouldn't... Again, it would be another series where Oh, Giannis didn't play, or the Knicks drew the friend of trash, or his friend hurt his ankle. Oh, I don't want to hear none of that. Jalen let's, Brown had eight we're not, let's listen, we're not giving no type of takes, any type of any type of life, all right? We just going to leave those on TL from here on out. We ain't bringing those to the show no more. We ain't talking about the nonsense we see on TL, because it's always going to be there, all right? We just going to talk about the good takes, talk about the good tweets, bring good takes, talk about our good tweets. We're going to leave all that BS on the T.O. What Drake Dad said, real music is going to last. All of a book is here today and going tomorrow. Um, We have not talked about any coaching changes. So, talk about those real quick. I was about to say, yeah. Buddy Williams. Monty oh, Williams got him a fucking change. bag. Yo. Got him a bag. Who would be the first Detroit rapper to name drop Monty Williams? <laughs> the who? Hey, who would be the oh, first Detroit, Detroit rapper? Who would be the first Detroit said... rapper to name drop Monty Williams? Right, Big Sean. Yo, I doubt it. It would probably be Baby Tron. <laughs> Big Sean. Big Sean would be corny for that. 
it I mean, yeah, Big Sean, but like, no, a lot of these Detroit rappers. I don't know if you you know a rapper in Detroit like Monty Williams. <laughs> no, that's a Big Sean impression. That's ter- That's bad. I mean, who the fuck you act like everybody listen to, like you listen to Big Sean every day. I don't. I actually haven't listened to Big Sean in a while. I'm not gonna have no impression. Oh, so, of him. Like, I ain't listen to Big Sean in a brick. I used to, I, I remember you used to argue with motherfuckers every day about Big Sean. Relax. Relax. That was your favorite rapper for real, for real. So it wasn't. It was, yeah. For well, first thing, yeah. Big Sean was his homie. He was like, nah, Big Sean. Bro, Big Sean, y'all gonna fucking respect him, Big Sean. Like, bro, he's trash. I'm like, bro, but you didn't hear all these other bars he said either. The man said, that man said, my dog wanted a Chevy. He said, my bro wanted a Chevy. Should I put my dog in a vet? You can't tell me that ain't bars right there, bro. Come on. My bro wanted a Chevy. Should I put my dog in a vet? My dog. Vet. My dog, Wolf Wolf, in the vet. If you got to do all that, then it's not a bar. No, it's a bar. I'm just explaining it to you because you acted like you don't get it. You just like, no, it's, just, it's not a bar. It's a bar. Well, front flash flat. I front, I fuck flash, with Big Sean. That's what you call but... bars. You don't know nothing about that. Bars. I fuck with Big Sean. That his for some reason his music don't have replayability. Oh, yeah. like, I fucked with Dark Sky Paradise Card, but yeah. if I try to go listen to it now, I'm like, it's like the same mm-hmm. is. I feel like it's the same thing with like Chance the Rapper because everybody's like, oh, Chance the Rapper, Chance the Rapper. But then you go back and listen to it, and I've seen everybody say that Acid Rap was like, I off. would listen to maybe one song off Acid Rap once in a blue moon for real, for real. I never really, li- I never listened to it. was never before. on any of my Spotify wrap ups. He not even, like, I don't know. He'd probably be in a feature up on a song I'll listen to, like on an album that I just listened to or something. I've not gone to Chance the Rapper's artist page since like 20. 20- when did Coloring Book come out? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I did listen to... That's the last I time I listened to no, 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 no. I listened to his album, album, The Big Day. I listened to half of it. Yeah. And then I was like, this is trash. And I did not voluntarily go listen to Chance the Rapper after that day. He said, this is trash. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, Money Williams for the Pistons. I think, I think it's a good shit. Good, I think. good uh, which one called? Good deal, good signing. Say yeah. it again. I said it's a good deal, good signing. Man got the bag. He got a good young squad there too. They got another high top pick. Not not top pick. They got another high draft pick. Another lottery pick five. This is a good draft. They definitely get a piece that can help them right away. Maybe get them to the playoffs this year, play in or whatever. Yeah, they need a win. Play they'll be like a play in team. Like maybe they they'll probably lose in the play in this year. K got to stay healthy though. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing, bro. I want K to be healthy. It can't it can't be so killing good. Hayes out there, bro. Kate is Kate so be good, Hayes. bro. K Cunningham is so good. One of the best young players in the league. But injuries holding him back. Speaking of injury, it just it just sucks to hear what's going on with Alonzo Ball. It really sucks. That shit hurt my heart, bro. Yeah. No that answer. shit hurts my heart. Well again, bro. It's really just unfortunate, man. It really is. And people want to look back and be like, oh, it's the shoes. Like, they brought the clip of how he was like, oh, I was going through like four pairs of shoes a game, the ZO2, the starting out, whatever. I don't know if that's it, man, but still, that could be a reason, you know, because, you know, where you're landing on your feet over time, whatever, catches up to you. But still, same time, it's just a weird injury, weird how he's not able to play ball, do whatever. Just sucks. Uh, Who else? Um. It's talking about Nick Nurse. Oh, wait, no. Nick Nurse is 
Philly's new coach, right? Or that's still in talks. Is that official? Philly. Yeah, he's Philly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, they must say, yeah, they fired a doctor and got a nurse. They went from a doc to a nurse. That's a tweet. That's not what I said. That's a tweet. Uh, I'm seeing Nash could be Toronto Raptors' new head coach. Which hey, if y'all <laughs> hey, <laughs> Steve Nash, the Raptors head coach, I'm with it. <laughs> I am with it. Uh, what else is there to talk about in NBA? All right, um. All right, so so back to games three and four. <laughs> what do you think changes for the Nuggets going into these two games? Um, they'll probably figure out. Well, they'll try to figure out a way to, uh, like they'll look at the the zones that bother them in the fourth quarter, and they'll try to find ways to negate that. They'll try to find ways to get, um, Jimmy off of Jamal, uh. And they're gonna have to. They have to be. They're gonna have to have more or better communication. Um, uh, better communication on the shooters, because Strews got open yeah. off of flips, off of screens. Um, the only player that they really like, and I would say locked down, but the only player that they really really chased off the screens well was Duck. Mm-hmm. And then until the fourth quarter when he got hot, then it was like, okay, yeah, I'm not even doing that. But, like, so they either overhelp on Jimmy and then somebody got an open look. They did communicate and somebody got an open look. Or they overhelp and one of the shooters ended up getting a layup because they overplayed. Um so they'll they'll try to attach the shooters more. I think at a certain point they're just have to they're just gonna have to let Jimmy play one on one. Like they're gonna have to force Jimmy to you're gonna have to beat Aaron Gordon. You're gonna have to if you get a switch, you're gonna have to beat Michael Porter and Mike Porter Jr. You're gonna have to beat Jokic. Like they're gonna have to force somebody to be like, All right, we're gonna live with you playing one on one and see what happens. Because we we're at our best when Struz, Caleb, Gabe Duncan or hitting shots. It's not when I mean, yeah, we're good when Jimmy's getting fifty, or Bam is getting thirty. But when all four of those guys are giving you 10, 12, 15 points each, it makes us damn near impossible to beat because 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 that's sixty points between four players, and then you got Bam giving you twenty, that's eighty, and then Jimmy gives you twenty, twenty five, that's one hundred and five. Now you just need Kevin Love to make a three, uh, fucking Kyle Lowry to make a couple shots. And now you have one fifteen. So, uh, so you win the ball game right there. Exactly. So, let's see. Miami, Miami has to make sure that they get those guys going, but they don't really have to because they're at home. So they're gonna be they're gonna be amped anyway. I think Denver is gonna have to weather the storm. Because Miami should come out and play really well early. Being it's your first final game at the crib because in the bubble we didn't play in them. We didn't play in the arena. So this will be your first final game in Miami for all of these dudes except for you Donis to be your first one. So yeah. it crowd will be there. They better be there early because you know how Miami fans are. The motherfuckers come in at game at eight, motherfuckers come in at eight fifteen. So they need to be there early. Got their white, uh, everybody in their white shirts, white jerseys, white hoodies, whatever you got. Right out. Towels, be ready to be fucking loud. Um, I think one of these games, I think this game needs to be an everybody game. But as the series goes on, we need to see Jimmy get more and more aggressive. Oh, yeah, because somebody got one in front of the people. <laughs> Well, it's not even that. Well, Somebody, it's not even like, that. It's not. I don't want to even make it. I don't want to even say it like that. That's 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 legacy talk coming in. That's that's like at this point. At this point, it would be damn. 
Bam has been better. I was anyway, thinking that on the way over there. I was like, yo, if they do go on the win, it'll probably be because of Bam more than because of Jimmy, because Jimmy hasn't really been playing like Jimmy, like Hemi. Jimmy hasn't been Hemi lately. Yeah. But if we get a Hemi game out of Jimmy, whoo lordy. I mean, one of these two, we need him to have his best game in his career. I would say of his career, but one of the best games. Of this year. Yeah. Like, we need it to be – we need it to be one of his best. Like, we need him to show up. We need Ben to play the way he's been playing. And then the rest of the guys just do what you've been doing. Knock down your shots. Stay confident. Be ready. Uh, I don't think Tyler plays now. Um, I think they said – I saw something that somebody said that he doesn't want to mess up the flow. Also, some, I also saw that he's not even close to being ready. Uh, so, either way, it doesn't look like he's going to play. Mm. Um, and I'm not one of those people that think, oh, we're better without Tyler. That's just, that's just, that's just dumb. Um, I think, sure, we may be a little bit more free-flowing. But yeah. there was a there was yeah. there was a point yesterday where we really needed him on the court. Like when that run happened and fucking Struz kept giving the ball up, Dustin Robinson was giving the ball up. Like we needed Tyler out that motherfucking race. Like that was when we were like, oh shit, this is where we could have used Tyler. Like he can create for himself, he can create for others, or for others, he can come off a pick and roll, find a good shot, he can shoot the ball. Like there's a lot that he can do that we could use. <laughs> What do you think uh, Denver needs to do? I think Denver <clears throat> I think Denver needs to get back to their game. Um, I mean, yeah, Jokic dropping 41 last night was cool, but they need to get back to just distributing the ball, you know? I mean, not letting Miami get to them. Because I feel like Miami just got to them. You know, they played. Miami just outplayed them, like, towards the end of that game. And I think if they stay, what's the word? If they stay on track of what they were doing for the first three quarters and they finish strong in that fourth quarter, they're good. They'll win a game in Miami. Maybe maybe win both games in Miami if they have a complete game. But it takes for either team to have a complete game in the series. Honestly, like, I feel like I feel like my I feel like Denver has to make Miami shoot. Yeah, Miami's going to shoot, but I feel like you got to make Miami shoot, right? So, therefore, it's not like, oh, open three from Duncan, open three from Struz. No. It's like, oh, they're moving the ball around. A couple seconds left of the shot clock. They got to put up a shot. They got to make Miami shoot or make it to where it's like, okay, Bam not getting nothing down low. They're kicking it back out so I can get something, you know. They just have to limit Miami's opportunities. And, and same goes for Miami. Miami got to limit Denver's opportunities. I know there's a lot of opportunities for Denver because they got Jamal Murray who can run point, and they got Jokic who's basically like another point. Bro, no, 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 no. We even talk about the dang on pass Jokic had, the touch pass that Jokic had into an alley oop. That was crazy. Man said, and Aaron Gordon, bang. I was like, yo, like he really just gets the ball. In the right spot every time. Just does it, bro. Just here with it, man. You just here with it. And it comes easy to him. Like Isaiah Thomas was talking about him through the wire. He was like, yo, he had a crazy game and he's on his phone playing some iPhone game or whatever. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like the best player in the world. Don't even really care for real. Like, he just does it for sports. Like, he just does it because he's good at it. I mean, he does got heart for the game, love for the game, whatever. But it's like, it's not like he, I don't know. Just the way that Isaiah Thomas talked about Jokic and put it in perspective for all of us about how Jokic is off the court. It's like, wow. Because it seems that way when he's on the court, too. It seems like he's not even just trying hard. He's and like he's like, bro, I'm not like not like I'm going out there trying to get a triple double. I'm doing what I gotta do to, for the team to win that day. And that involves me getting 15 rebounds, 12 assists, and 23 points. Then I'm gonna do that. So back to the point. Feel like Miami gotta do the same. 
more so limit everybody else's opportunities because I Jokic's gonna score. All right, Jokic's gonna get his. Jokic's gonna get 40, 50 points. But just make sure Mike Porter Jr. don't get 15. Make sure Aaron Gordon don't get 13. Make sure Bruce Brown will get 10. <laughs> make sure the surrounding cast doesn't, you know, doesn't perform well. Like take everybody else out of it. Jokic's gonna get whatever. But just make sure it's like I don't know. Like think about it, it's like kind of like the Aces last year. It's like I mean Aces won the championship last year, but like yo, don't let Asia get hot. Don't let one of them get hot. Like have everybody have an off night so you can win. It's certain players that are gonna get theirs. Like the main like like the one option, two option, they gonna get theirs. Just make sure everybody else don't get theirs. Don't get theirs as well. You know. So Miami got to find a way to match up, which I feel like they're doing better. You know, inserting Kevin Love in the starting lineup does help size wise. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it'd be it'd be an exciting two games. It'll be exciting game three and game four. Can't wait to watch it. Y'all know where to watch it. Um, we'll be talking about it on the TL, of course. I'll be making TikToks. I'll probably make another TikTok after games three and four. Not after game three, after game four, but after games three and four conclude. So right before game five. So, yeah. Anything else you want to add before we get out of here, sir? Any bold predictions? We're going up 3-1. You heard it here first. Tariq said, Miami Heat are going up 3-1. After games three and four in Miami, I don't know why he's making all his faces. No, I'm not. Not hundred percent confident. Not. But it's bold. It's bold. Confident it's bold. spot. It's bold. It's bold. It's bold. Oh, now, oh, it's, it's hold a bold prediction. On. That... Hold on, hold. I almost forgot. I, I, I almost forgot. Uh huh. Go ahead. Proceed. Well, we go all the way back. What team did I say was going to the NBA Finals? Said the Nuggets. And who is in the fucking Finals? The Denver Nuggets. Oh, ain't that fucking crazy? I said that shit what? Said like like December? Mid-season. Yeah, about to say, you said it like mid-season for real. And then KD like, went to the Suns. I ain't buying it. KD went to the Suns, and they was like, oh, hey, ML, ML came on here and said, yeah, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be Phoenix. I knew it wasn't going to be Phoenix. Maybe next year, but I know not this year. Hey, man. I don't know. Western Conference is wide open low-key. Western Conference is wide open low-key. Eastern Conference is wide open low-key, too. You was on here saying, like, Phoenix, they supposed to win right now. They got all these expectations. I mean, I ain't hearing none of that. I didn't think they're gonna win right now, but the expectation was for them to win right now. Like they just oh, added KD. KD right I said, now. man, Denver right there. Ain't nobody hearing none of that shit. Yeah. Denver, mother fucking nuggets. All that shit. I think I had the this all that shit. the finals. I don't know who you had going to the finals. I don't remember who I had going to the finals at the West. That's a good question because I don't, I don't think, I don't think you made it to the show. I don't think I did either, honestly. But yeah, like I, I, I did it like mid season when we weren't doing predictions. I just said it. Another thing. We are going to talk about Jokic definitely after this series. I hope y'all do. This is on the main stage. This is on ABC. I don't want to hear nothing about how it's on 10.30 on media TV, whatever, and how people don't watch Denver. I don't want to hear nothing about that. Hey, I'm talking to myself in this, too. I'm talking to myself oh, okay. in this, too. All right? Okay. We're going to talk to me talk about Nikola Jokic, all right, as a whole. Because it's getting crazy out here. It's getting delusional, all right? Then again, that's NBA Twitter. So I'm not paying attention to what NBA Twitter says no more. Again, Like I said, we're not bringing those things to the pod. But y'all got to put some respect on Nikola Jokic after this. 41 points. A triple double in the first game. He ain't no scrub. 
Yeah, he might be new to this going to the finals, but he true to this though. Like he holding his own, holding his team down, holding the whole city of Denver down. Now I don't know how yeah. they're gonna, you know, get the job done, but it's a good chance they're tied one one right now. And the odds are still in their favor. But you know, a lot of basketball is still to be played. But just know that boy to call Jokic ain't no scrub. People talking about Jokic like he's just a regular player, like he ain't went to MVPs. You got me official media people. Talk about they didn't pay attention to Jokic and they're just now realizing he's good. He wants two MVPs. You probably didn't vote on it, but how you gonna cover? How you gonna work for a big network, cover their games, be there, and not know who Nicole Jokic is or how good he is? That's bad. That's your job. That's your job. Anyways, man, guys, we gotta watch how we talk about Nikola Jokic after this, because people just say blasphemy. Um, this I will say this though. I will say this. I I didn't click on the video, but I saw something on YouTube where it said Jokic, Raider than Shaq? Question mark. This is what we're not going to do. Clickbait. That's all it is. Clickbait. I didn't click on it. Okay. But this is what we're not going to do because clickbait. this is what. This is what's gonna make people. This is what's gonna make people. This is what's gonna make people hate Jokic even more. Is trying to put him over players before he's reached his before he's reached his peak. And I I, I don't want to say peak, but before he's really gotten a chance to ascend. Uh-huh. This is first time in the finals. First time with a healthy team and a actual playoff run. And he got to the finals. Yep. Has a great chance of winning it. Yep. I'm not trying to see, oh, is he better than Shaq? Is he better than Kareem? Is he better than Hakeem? It's not time for that. He's got maybe one or zero. Him not winning one doesn't make him a fucking loser. Yeah. Doesn't mean he's trash. But him winning one doesn't also mean that he's the greatest of all time. No. Now it puts him into a different conversation. Yeah. It def it puts him into it puts him in the Giannis, you know, that type of conversation. Embiid, like Embiid he, he's and- not even in the conversation anymore. That conversation is done with. Conversation is Giannis Jokic. Steph. Can't forget about Steph. I'm, I don't know. I'm more so talking about play. Well, Steph is still this generation. I mean, if you're talking about if you're talking about like in terms of like building a legacy and they're like starting like not starting but like in the middle of building their legacy then yes it would be Jokic Giannis I'll say Jokic Giannis they're you know yeah it, it would be Jokic Giannis. Giannis within the past five years one is one 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 is playing in one uh of mm-hmm. course you know well Steph Steph already submitted bro Steph is submitted Steph yeah. I don't know if it's is Steph a t- top 10 player all the time yeah yeah okay for yeah. me yes okay I don't knock it. I don't know what my top 10 looks like at this moment, but if somebody were to say Steph Curry is the top 10 player of all time, I won't be like, you're bugging. You know? I won't. I won't contest it. Like, facts. Uh, But people are saying, I, I forget who said it, but somebody said it. Jokic is in the top 10. I guess I think a center's all time. Oh, well, yeah. He's in the top 10. Don't know where. He was the, already there. Oh, he's he was the already there. 10. He was already there with the two MVPs. Yeah. Because I mean, who, what other center? How many centers in the in the oh, top ten have even one MVP, let alone two? So he's for sure in that comment. He's for sure yeah. top ten. I just he's not gonna be like a top five. He's not moving Hakeem. He's not moving Kareem. He's not moving Shaq. He's not moving Bell. He's not moving Wood. Patrick Ewing, sure. Love the morning. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Like, he's move. He's moving them dudes. Like y'all. Make make room. Go ahead and make room for Big Surge. Go ahead and make room for Big Surge. Because sure. he coming regardless. Whoa. Anyway, do you see the video, like the little animated video that they had? The animated video of like 
Jokic and, and Jimmy and Adam no. going through like their pass to get to the finals. No. So they had Nicole Jokic just passing balls, right? And then he said, hee hee, and had a Joker like painted face. No. I'm like, yo, I bugged out because you know I say that all the time. I was like, man, let me find out. I'll just say he he one of my TikTok videos. And I, I I got a I got a meme now. So instead of posting Magic Johnson, I'm posting me Magic Johnson. Me and Magic Johnson. Hold on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I had used it recently too. Yeah. He he. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. All right. Like I said, I think it'd be tied. Tariq thinks it'd be 3 1. We'll catch up. We'll tap back in with y'all later on this week after the games conclude. Going into game five, as well as a W episode this week. You know, we can't leave the W out. Things are getting hot and heavy in the W. It's getting lit. Season's picking up. I love it. And in the end of Fever, they they came to play. They came. Yeah. They, they gave Vegas a run for their money. I ain't going to lie. But they came up just short. But we'll get into all that later this week. So appreciate you guys tuning in once again to the Hidden Headband Podcast show. Deuces. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.